Okay, I've finally got rid of the upper stone. Except this is foolish. As I continue my journey through stories, the path of destinies. This is the finale for this path. The battle, alas, was not going well. He no longer had the stone, and he'd never gotten the core. Lapino wasn't with him, and he was up against Zenobia, out there somewhere, maneuvering the Emperor's forces. The rebels had been outnumbered from the start, and he still had that aching longing for the stone. But that is what it means to be a hero. He would fight his way to Zenobia. He would show her what he was capable of. Just him, with no diabolic accoutrements. He would win, no matter the odds. And yes, we finally got that final sword upgrade. I feel a little sad, in all honesty. Now he could slice the wings off a fly in the air. Not that he would. It's sort of mean, really. So that one's got a little face, that one's got a face, that one doesn't have a face, and that one's just classic. So, as things go, I'm not really sure how this stands. I am going to guess that Lapino is going to turn up and uh, murder me. I'm never going to give that rabbit a rabbit is come up in, am I? That's the frustrating thing. I'm never going to kill that little what's behind git. Door number two. I, unless I'd gone to like the rebel council, and that point I'd just lost myself to the stone so much that uh, you know I was sticking a blade in anything that came within three feet of me. In which case, he probably would have gotten killed. No, stop moving. There we go. And across. Yes, that was it. Pirouette, slash, parry, dodge. Renato had never done such good work in a fight. He wished the poets were along to sing of his exploits for his old age. Maybe he wouldn't have to kill Zenobia. Maybe he could defeat her and take her prisoner. Then he could turn the tide against the Emperor. If she wasn't Crown Princess, once this was all over, she'd have more time for him, right? That's a little selfish, but... Yeah, true. Come on, come on. Lost. No, you're just taking the piss. Ah, oh. you know, you know, if I don't have like three things try and jump me at once like that, I can actually block. Pretty damn well, thank you. Oh, I didn't, didn't have the high enough combo to do the instant dash to the thing. Fine. There we go, get a little bit of health back. I'm still mildly annoyed with the, the sass it gave me about being a wounded. Be perfect place for a tic -tac -toe board. What? I, I hope he's talking about the, um, you know, the lift. Also, how are these things being steered? They're lacking any real features. I guess that's why, because I've got the settings on low, it's just removed everything that's unrequired from the, uh, the terrain. It's a shame you never get to actually fight Lapido or it, actually any of the main characters. You never fight the Emperor. I don't think you even meet him.
No, away with you. Throw you into you. Stab you in the face. Oh, now that was gratifying. Everything went perfectly. Wasn't quite as cool as one of my earlier fights, but still, when a fight goes that well for you, it's still quite nice. So let's see how it goes horribly wrong this time. By some miracle, Renato fought his way to the Emperor's ship. He was exhausted, bleeding, but he'd found the strength to reject the stone. Zenobia came out of the ship. Renato! She shouted, and then she fell down and died. Lapino was behind her, wielding a sword that seemed to suck all the light out of the sun. You idiot! You threw the stone away! cried Lapino. You said it was evil! It hates sanctimonious prigs like you! laughed Lapino. We're having a grand old time! Renato turned and ran. But no matter where he ran, Lapino jumped in front of him until Renato was cornered. That boy could hop. You wouldn't do this to an old friend, would you? cried Renato. You mean this? Oh, come on! Pino. He would have been an awesome boss fight. It should have been at least a mutual kill. Damn it. Again? <laughs> he should go back to some of the choices he'd faced before. Maybe there were new paths that had opened up. Like those doors he was opening up all over the map that took him to new treasures and around his enemies. And he hadn't learned anything yep. new this time. He'd done the same thing. No, twice, I had not. Expected the Peter turned up unwillingly. Ah, oh, well, it looks like finding the truth is a lot more difficult than I thought. I'll catch you guys next time.